So, I came across this, the phrase of preferred pronouns not too long ago, and I had never heard of this. I was like, what, what is this preferred pronouns thing? So I looked into it, and I came across a video to explain it where there, it's like a skit in a workplace, and these three people are in an elevator going up. And they're all talking, and then it stops at a floor, and one of the ladies gets out. It was two women and a man. And one of the women gets out, and when she does, the other woman turns to the man and, and says, Anna is really nice. I miss working with them. And the man says, them? You mean Anna? And she says, yeah, Anna's non-binary. Anna is not a he or a she. Anna does not identify as male or female. Anna prefers to be called them or they. And the man goes, oh, I feel so bad. I've been calling Anna a she. I didn't know. And at first I thought, this is a pretty dumb thing. I mean, this is the dumbest thing I've heard. That a person could say, I'm not a he or a she. I'm, I'm, I'm us. I'm we. I, I am to be referred to as them. I can't be refer referred to as a he. I can't be referred to as a she. I am to be referred to as them or they. That's how we would like to be referred to. Speaking of one singular person. And initially I thought that's a dumb thing. But then I thought, you know what? That's actually a demonic thing. That's demonic. And so that's what this video is about is this preferred pronouns thing that I just ran across. I believe that is a subtle manifestation of demons in the modern time. And I'll show that to you here from scripture. I want to read from Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. <clears throat> Starting in verse 1, it says, And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man, one man, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains." Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus? What have I to do with thee, Jesus? Thou son of the most high God, I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. Singular, singular, singular. For he said unto him, this is Jesus, now come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Jesus got right to the point here. And he asked him, what is thy name? And he, this is a man, a singular man. We're dealing with one individual. He asked him, what is thy name? Jesus asked him, and he answered saying, my name is Legion for we are many. We are many. How do these non-binary people want to be referred to as? Them and they. Why? Because it, 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 like these non-binary people say, we are to be referred to as them or they. It's a single person, but they want to be referred to as multiple people. What's that? That's the demon speaking through that person. That's what I believe because right here, you've got these demons in this person, a singular person, and he's, he's addressed in a singular way. And yet, when he answers the question, he says, my name is Legion, for we are many. That doesn't make sense. That, you know, uh, for a person to say, my name is such and such, and I am this way, or, you know, it, it, it should be singular. But it's plural here, because there's more than one being in the body of that person. And I think that's what's going on with these non-binary folks. The demons are revealing themselves a little bit more, a little bit more in our society today. Now, if we read on here into Mark 5.15, it says, And they come to Jesus. So this is after Jesus deals with him. And he, the demons go into the swine, and they run in the water, and, and they uh, commit suicide. Now, in verse 15 of Mark 5, it says, And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion, the, 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 the man that referred to himself as we, okay, um, sitting and clothed in his right mind. He was sitting and clothed in his right 
mind. So what are the marks of demonic possession? Being out of your mind and not having your clothes on. And that's the world today. Because today we're living... If 20 years ago someone had said, don't refer to me as a he or she, refer to me as a they. Refer to me as a them. You'd say, this person's crazy. This person's out of their mind. But now... We're living in a world that defends that, and if you can't understand how a person could be non-binary and refer to themselves as they, if you don't comprehend that, you're the one that's crazy, according to the world we're living in today, because this world is out of their mind, and they're taking their clothes off. You, you go to any secular college campus when the weather's warm, during the exchange of classes, the bell rings, you go from one class to another, and see how they're dressing. Less and less clothes. They, they're taking their clothes off. They have uh, barber shops now. Topless haircut. Free beer with your haircut and topless. And the women are willing to do it because they say they get better tips. Uh, you have restaurants. I mean, for years you had uh, Hooters, but now Hooters is like a low-key type of deal because you've got other restaurants where women are wearing the underwear, basically, and serving tables that way. And it's becoming more and more prevalent and more and more popular. So what's going on? You've got more and more demonic activity going on. Okay? We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, the Bible says. We wrestle against principalities and powers. There is spiritual warfare going on. And this latest thing, it's, it's like a little bit more of a revelation of the demonic presence in America now, unfortunately. This non-binary people referring to themselves as we in the plural, singular people referring to themselves in the plural, just like this demon-possessed man here that Jesus encountered.